Loma to Jemen, you're watching News Pass on Hornbill TV. The Kohima Smart City Development Limited and the Kohima Traffic Police, besides the Kohima Village Youth Organization, have reportedly tested ATMS or Automated Traffic Management System in Kohima on Thursday, February 10. Updates on Thursday said that the traffic system was tested at two main locations of Kohima Town, namely the Police Headquarters Junction and the TCP Gate. To get to know more about the tests that were held today, we have Yanfo Kikon, Senior Tech Consultant, NISG on the line. Hello, Yanfo. Yeah, hi, yeah. Yanfo. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for joining us tonight here. Okay. Thank you. Uh, moving forward with the questions here, uh, could you please tell us about the results uh, from today's testings? Yeah, so today's exercise was basically just a test. Huh? It right, was a right. pilot trial run to see the feasibility and also to check and see the effectiveness of using automated traffic management system or in short, a traffic signal lights. Right. So actually, many of us, including me, all of skeptical, we were apprehensive. But today, after testing, it was surprising to see that it's kind of working, you know, people are complying. The traffic police are also, you know, able to get used to it. It's a transitional process. It's a transition, so it will take time to, uh, you know, change the system from the old manual system to the automatic system. So today was just a trial in two traffic junctions, that is TCP gate and PHQ for a start. And, uh, yeah, people were able to somehow uh, starting to get used to it. It will take time. Also, as you have mentioned, we are not used to having traffic lights here in our state, mostly, I mean, uh, mostly in Kohima, it's new. So, will the citizens know how to use the aid of ATM, is, uh, considering, considering the fact that uh, they are primarily to facilitate uh, pedestrians as well? Right, right. So, like I said, today is just a trial, okay? So, in a trial, we feel like actually key changes go like a junction like design whether we need to change the junction design or whether we need to change some of the roads, you know, the, some of the intersections. In a one arrow pedestrian can be crossing we we have to optimize the system in such a way that when there's a red signal, the pedestrian is, is green so that they can cross the road. So all these things there need to be very effective coordination between the traffic police right. and also with the help of this uh, uh, professionals and there's uh, volunteers from Kohima Village Youth Organization. So this exercise has to be ongoing. Try and see how we can improve the, especially the junctions, you know. Yeah. We also, uh, we know that uh, there's the lack of space uh, contributes greatly to the high traffic jams in Kohima. So, well, the, uh, well, this uh, traffic lights being set up actually help in easing the capital's traffic problems as well. Yes, so that is the same question that we have and the answer we will get once we start analyzing the traffic data, the congestions, the traffic flow. So we also have the urban mobility experts who are also studying while the traffic police and the volunteers are carrying out this exercise. They will come up with a report and in this, will, this report will be in addition to an urban mobility plan uh, study that was done for Kohima. So we need all this professional help and experts from different fields to finally come up with different kinds of solutions and different kind of options and using which even like you said in the lack of congestions so they will need to come up with alternative plans maybe building an additional infrastructure by lane roads and all those things will have to be planned out based on the findings of the studies and the reports and the exercises that are being carried out for urban mobility. Okay, so the test was run at uh, the TCP gate junction and the POC junction, that's what we've heard, heard. So are there any plans of uh, implementing this in other areas as well where there is high traffic congestion? Yes, especially 
people don't normally install traffic signal lights in hill stations. Right. But for Kohima, as part of the Smart City program, they were supposed to install it. So we'll install and see in these two junctions. And after that, the other junctions, they, the implementing agency, Bharat Electronics Limited, they may need to reconfigure and re-optimize those junctions to make sure that this traffic signal lights are feasible. If it is not found to be feasible, they can always remove it. If it is found found to be feasible and successful, there's good news. They can use it in other areas in yeah. Kohima and also especially even in Timapur, I think it's very much required. So they should try and experiment and see. Find another solution. So according to the test and according to the results today, uh, when do you think it will be operational on a daily basis if it's uh, good? For the people. Yeah, so this exercise they are going to carry out for five days. Okay. Uh, in addition to this, uh, the, there needs to be expense, extensive awareness also, especially in the part of the citizens, now. And there has to be a collaborative effort. So, when we kill the government, will be public handling. So, when we will be in the city, and can our traffic conditions and community go to idea and be taking issue with issue. Always share with authorities and with collaborative effort. I'm very optimistic that things will improve. But right. without uh, effective coordination and collaborations, uh, things will obviously fail. So we need to be very optimistic and we need to collaborate citizens and governments and academia and everybody. You know? No, sir, as you mentioned, this is a project under the smart city. So are there any other projects under the smart city to uh, look after the traffic in, uh, in, this, uh, in the town? I mean, are there any other projects under smart city program? Yeah, so there is a head under the smart city plan called the urban mobility, okay? There, they are trying to introduce some new bus routes, okay? And also uh, explore with some other other alternatives and solutions because uh, under under the smart city plan, they have introduced an urban mobility study. And under the urban mobility study, they are going to propose different solutions to the authorities because the smart city is doing the study, but there need to be effective coordination and collaboration with the stakeholders. That is the most important, especially national highways, PWD, traffic police. Everybody needs to put their heads together, apply their minds, and come up with solutions to uh, ease the traffic congestion. Or maybe even RTO also, the transport department, right? They need maybe come up with new regulations and uh, reduce or regulate the number of new registrations that are given vehicle registrations and also even come up with new solutions or out of the box innovative ideas like what Mizoram is doing unless somebody has a garage they cannot apply for new registrations so things like this not just using technology but there is a lot of uh, regulatory uh, interventions that are required All right. at the policy level yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Jan, for, for joining us tonight. Well, let's just hope that everybody would contribute their part and we'll soon come up with a solution to all the uh, traffic problems here in the state. Thank you again.